Welcome to the Rebel to Succeed podcast. It's your boy, Inc. Anthony Williams, the founder of RebelToSucceed.com. The purpose of this podcast is to share tips, advice, and strategies to help you improve in all areas of your life. My mission is to make a positive difference in your life to help you live your best life. Now let's get it. What up, Rebels? It's your boy, Ann from Rebel to Succeed, coming at you with another podcast episode. Yes, sir. So today in this podcast episode, I want to talk about I want to talk about confidence and how important confidence is with um with your 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 success journey. Um I feel like um a lot of people may lack confidence, right? And you know, with confidence comes a lot of um success. If you look at the most successful people, um you as you guys realize I, I like to relate to you know success uh, successful people because um ultimately for you to be successful you're gonna have to model success right so if you look at some of the world's most successful people some of the world's most successful people a lot of them they maintain very high confidence in themselves um not not and that's that's not to be confused with cockiness because you know cockiness can be um a cockiness is not a good look you know what i mean you don't want to be cocky you want to be calm and assertive, and you want to be uh, very confident in whatever you do, right? So always staying calm and always being confident, right? Confidence is like a, a calm assertiveness. Cockiness is just um, it's just like arrogance, right? You don't want to be arrogant, but whenever you're um, like, if you look at some of the, you know, some some like the athletes, right? You know, they they uh, compete on the highest level, right? And you have to be for you to be the best, you have to be very confident in your abilities, right? And with confidence, um, that's normally trained by a lot of practice. It's normally trained by a lot of um, experience. It's, it's trained by a lot of, um, you know, preparation, right? So for you to be able to achieve this level of confidence, you have to you have to, you know, make certain goals. I mean, not really goals, but plans towards your goals, right? When you have a plan, um, I'm going to act out my road on my on my journey to success, you know, very confidently because I have a plan. I have I have something. Um, basically, basically, it's like you know what's going on, right? You you know what you know what you're working towards, and you know what you have to do, right? And when you know what you have to do, it makes things a bit easier. So that's why plans is very important. And, you know, um, well, what I've learned is when I have, you know, stuff a, a bit planned out, um, I'm not, you know, nervous because I know what I got to do. Right. So, um, again, if you look at the world's most successful people, like athletes, like, you know, like LeBron James or um, if you look at like a Stephen Curry or any, or any, you know, crazy athlete, like any superstar athlete. Uh, or just, you know what, just athletes in general, right? Most of them, they're very confident in, in their abilities because they practice a lot, right? And, you know, with that practice become, you know, they, they get the confidence. Well, when, they, when in the business world, you have to, um, you have to, you know, plan stuff out and you have to continue to tweak your plan and, and continue to learn. You know what I mean? You have to continue to learn new things. Um, that also makes you a bit confident. But, um, I feel like learning from your failures and the experience in itself is going to make you very confident because, um, you know, that resi- resiliency and your resourcefulness and your, you know, determination and, um, you know, all of those things make you, you know, confident at the end of the day, because, you know, you, you have that experience and, um, yeah, man, just, if you plan it out, and you, you you add your experience in in, in that you know in the fire with it, um, that will in itself make you very confident. So um, sometimes I have to remind myself, you know what I mean, not to get too cocky about things, especially when I know I'm right. You know what I mean? It's, it's I feel like it's a bit more 
it's a better look to, you know, just to stay humble, be a positive um, person instead of being like cocky. You know what I mean? But you no, know, you, you, you do want to be confident, but you don't want to be cocky. I, I don't, me personally, I don't like cocky people. I like confident people, right? Everybody likes confidence. People are attracted to confidence. And um, yeah, I, I encourage you guys to practice and put confidence in whatever you do. You know what I mean? And do what it, do do what you have to do to make yourself feel um, as confident as possible. Because normally, when you're you know when you're confident, you're gonna see the best results, and you're gonna you know be able to do the best and be the um be be most productive when you're confident. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, man. Hopefully, you guys um you know got some motivation from this. Got some some value out of this. I just want to talk about confidence because you know I see a lot of um. Um, I see a lot of people who's you don't know, really believe in themselves, man. You know, you got you got to believe in yourself, especially when you know you have a vision as far as you know certain things that you you see for your life, and um, you know people don't really believe in it. People don't they can't see the vision. You know what I mean? You have to continue to move forward in confidence because, um, yeah, man, there's going to be people that's going to doubt your your, your vision. They're going to doubt the the process because they can't see the way you see it. So. Um, through it all, you got to stay confident. You got to keep pushing forward, be resilient, be uh, determined, um, just be um, persistent and consistent. And uh, eventually you see see success. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all been proven by the, the world's most successful people, the highest achievers. So, again, if you want to achieve some of the results that they have, you might want to um, follow in their footsteps. So um there it is you know stay confident be confident um and yeah hopefully you guys found value in this episode if so leave a review let me know what you guys thought about this episode um of course go to the website rebeltosucceed.com check out the other content there and last but not least be a rebel reach everybody by exercise and love and it's your boy Ian from rebel to succeed and i'll catch you guys in the next episode I want to thank you for joining me today and listening to this podcast. If you found this episode helpful or valuable in any way, then I encourage you to leave an honest review and subscribe to the Rebel to Succeed podcast for future episodes. To receive more content and value, make sure to visit the Rebel to Succeed website at www.rebeltosucceed.com. And finally, Always remember that to succeed in life, you have to reach everyone by exercising love. So make sure to show somebody some love today. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time.